So I'm um oh, I, <laughs> oh, I hate this third party energy, but you know, Loki wants to read on it. So um I I asked Loki to help me with the last reading for the Divine Femme, and in return I have to do a reading for Loki, whichever reading Loki wants to do, which means it's gonna be a third party reading because Loki likes drama. So we got the chariot reversed out here first. Clarify, please. I know this deck likes to be shuffled a lot. Clarify, please. Oh, okay. Something might have come to a sudden stop. Chariot with the King of Cups reversed. Um, there might have been somebody in your energy that started moving towards you and got stopped. Um, there might have been like a change of plans. There might have been a change of heart. Might have been cold feet on either end, right? Doesn't have to be just on their end. Six of Cups at the bottom. Um, it's... Thank you. Six of Cups at the bottom is telling me that they've been holding on to the memory of being with you and they're just, they feel like they're overflowing to the point of being empty. Um, they feel like they've just been, <sighs> here I thought reverse, this is feeling like they've just been really fucking obsessing over you, like they haven't thought about anything else for a long time um <laughs> a long time and it feels like even though they're out doing things right like they work they have a life they do things they go out with friends it feels like no matter what time of the day it is who they're with where they are it feels like they see something that always reminds them of you and it's really starting to to get to them four of wands seven of pentacles they really thought that this was something that could potentially be their divine union that this could have been it for them um, but you might not have felt the same so that could be why this is hitting the wall that it's hitting um, seven of pentacles here this one has a little kid on the card and this one always 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 is an indicator of kids involved for me in this deck um, so you guys might have kids together they might have a kid you might have a kid something like that um, or there might be an issue of you guys wanting kids not being able to have kids I feel like um, kids are a really big issue that might have been um, at the forefront of somebody's mind, but it might not have been communicated. Um, yeah, full reverse. Full is also a very young energy. It could be an Aries, just throwing that out there. Um, but full reverse, this one is saying to, like, again, false start. Um, they, they really had high hopes in this connection going somewhere. They really had high hopes, Page of Pentacles reversed. They studied you. That just fell out of my mouth as fast as humanly possible. They studied you. Um, they really thought, like, if they could learn everything about you, that they would, like, impress you by knowing you and that you would be like, oh my god, this person really knows me, right? Um, but I think that you being the intuitive person you are, you picked up on the fact that they studied you. They didn't really take the time to get to know you. Uh, you guys didn't put time in together to actually learn who each other was in this relationship this might have been a quick fling type of relationship that just got a little bit messy uh the fool is sideways here right over the four of wands card so it's kind of telling me that uh you guys might have jumped into it just a little too fast as well one if not both of you uh, like you guys had really high hopes for it and it just didn't take off Nine of Cups here, look at that, she's pregnant too. Like I said, the, the fertility thing is coming in really strong here in this message, so take it if it resonates, right? But Nine of Cups, this is saying that you literally chose yourself. You literally chose yourself. You realized that this wasn't right for you, although they realized this was right for them, you realized this wasn't right for you, and that's what's really putting a big stick in the mud here. Um, I feel like that's why also they're still they're still in motion towards you. If you look at that card, he looks like super determined, right? Like, I thought that was water behind him, like rushing water. Um, but I feel like this person's still super determined to come towards you. And even though you have moved your energy to a different focus, um, they're still feeling, hmm, Queen of Pentacles and the Lovers. I love this Lovers card because there's fucking, there's two girls on there, right? 
loud as fuck this deck um thank you loki by the way for this message <laughs> um so even though you've turned your attention to another focus they've still got their focus on you they still feel like you are the knees of the bees they still feel like you've got it all fucking going on they feel like you're everything they need and everything they want and um for some reason, I'm seeing the little rascals. I'm seeing when Alfalfa sing into Darla. You know how Darla picks that other little boy and, you know, Alfalfa is just dumb in love with her and eventually she goes back to Alfalfa at the end. Um, I think they're kind of romanticizing this from a really uh, immature standpoint. Uh, just from what's going on in their head, just from their daydreams, their night dreams, their fucking night terrors, whatever it is they're having about you. They might be writing about you, um, which is causing you to manifest in their world a lot more as well. Uh, that could be why they're seeing you everywhere, because they are writing about you, therefore probably inadvertently manifesting you. Um, this might also be something you have picked up on, which is also something that scared you away, because you're like, oh, they're trying to trying to get me like in a in a magic sense look at this the wheel she's also pregnant see that this fertility thing is fucking huge here um the wheel on this one i love that she's sitting on a wheel with all these animals there's a little cauldron behind her right this message has been coming out so many fucking times in my readings and in mary jo mary jane mel's readings lately that they might really be attracted to how spiritual you are they might really get off on the fact that you're like a witch um again take it as it resonates right but i feel like there's something about you that is just entrapping this person <laughs> Whew, big word entrapping this person um almost as if you do siren work so be careful with that uh, if you're doing siren work, make sure it's pointed. Make sure it's pointed because you might be attracting somebody that you don't want to attract, right? Uh, you might have people obsessing over you that you don't particularly want trapped in your energy. Eight of Swords reversed. Um, I really fucking love this Eight of Swords card. And there's the Emperor right under it. Look at that. Eight of Swords, Emperor. You literally got this person stuck on you, babe. So hard. You got this person fucking stuck on you. They believe fully and wholeheartedly that you're it for them. Um, and that if they can't have you, then they're just going to live their life alone. We got Page of Swords here coming out with Strength Reverse, Page of Wands, the Sun. Every fucking page in this deck has come out again with the issue here of fertility and kids and the imagery. Like there's so much here of kid imagery. Kids is huge here again. You might have kids they might really want to have kids with you this family thing might have been really big to them and again it might have been something that really pushed you away like it just wasn't what you wanted or it was too much too fast or something and they're not really getting that strength reverse they're letting their their lust and their pride really take over here and really drive the fucking drive the chariot um with the two pages and the sun <clears throat> i'm gonna show you like this because i can't I grabbed it, stupid. Um, but with the two pages and the sun, again, sun coming out with the justice card, uh, this feels like they, mm, thank you, spirit. You brought out, thank you, Loki, sorry. You brought out something in them that made them feel young again, um, that brought balance, that they think brought balance, right? Again, this is, this feels like a big illusion, like this energy of illusion, because you're over here working on yourself, nine of pentacles. Um, this feels like a big illusion, something that they've gotten themselves trapped in. There's the wheel again. This feels like something that they got themselves trapped in, Page of Pentacles reversed. It feels like they just did a little bit too much looking into you, and they just obsessed over you a little bit too much, and they kind of convinced themselves that you're their divine counterpart. And um, it takes two to tango, right? You know, if whether or not that is true, um, it does take two to tango in this world. And the three in the three D, we have free will permit um and the world do what's right for you unequivocally do what's right for you because you have free will although they might feel like you guys have a soul contract that's not your fucking problem if you don't want it you don't want it you can't own this identity they put